As part of its Junior Golf Outreach and Member Services Initiative, the Golf Association of Philadelphia assisted the Suburban One League with the administration of its Boys Championship on October 3rd at Five Ponds. The end of last season, um, the Golf Association started our relationship with Golf Genius and we just saw the platform as being a, a perfect opportunity to help with leagues and high school leagues in particular seem to fit the format. And the Suburban One League has several schools in our area that play at our member clubs and it just seemed like a perfect relationship. The association printed player scorecards and set up a website for the tournament via Golf Genius. This platform allowed high school coaches to input scores hole by hole. Live scoring and a live leaderboard enliven the experience for all. We've had quite a few people saying how, how cool it is to be able to see how the scores are going up right away versus we were blind until the very end in, in the past when they handed in their scorecard and we literally just wrote it on a on a list so they didn't know until you know we got everybody's scorecard back in now at least they have an idea of where they fall everyone from players to coaches to administrators to, to parents love it it's a medium for them to see the results and the scores that they never had before one of our actual players won the state championship several years ago but no one knew what was happening on the course until all the scores came in. And what's neat about the Golf Genius is we knew on the third hole where kids stood. We knew on the 15th hole where kids stood. On the 18th hole, my kids, two of them were struggling to get in. They knew they had a part of that hole and they did great. The Suburban One League includes 22 high schools from Bucks and Montgomery counties. The league's top 88 golfers, in terms of handicap index, competed at five ponds. Schools without a player in that top 88 sent their top player as well. The low 34 players advanced to districts. In addition to providing a scoring platform for the Suburban One League Boys Championship, the association issued gin numbers to every player in the league for the fall season's entirety. Every kid that participates in the varsity sport in the Suburban One League has a handicap index now. They can follow it, they can maintain it, they can keep it, and it's, it's free for them. So it's a, it's a fantastic win-win. Suburban One and done? It's not the case when it comes to Gap and high school golf. I think this is something that could go on for you know, the future existence of this tournament. Suburban One League was the first, but it's certainly not going to be the last league that we work with. Um, we've had a few leagues reach out already, and we've explored what we can do for them next year, and I think this is going to be the, uh, the start of a good thing. Reporting from Five Ponds, Tony Regina, Gap TV.